Hey everyone, it's Hippie here, and I just want to do a very brief intro to this series. Basically, I'm doing a role play here where uh, my character is this neon ghost or ghost dragon or whatever you want to call him. But my narrator is actually a different character based on the character I did for Fallout back in the day, the ghost chef. So uh, I'm just basically doing it as his voice and explaining the legend of this guy, which, you know, they're kind of in the same universe or whatever. So anyway, that's the explanation of what I'm doing here. Let's get on with the show. Hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. All right, check it out, everyone. This is the guy, the neon freaking dragon. You know what I mean? The guy's a freaking legend, but we're looking back in the past here and seeing how he rose to greatness, right? So doing all this stuff in neon, he just got here. He got a little job in the corporate world doing some fixing. And then he came over here downtown and he was like uh, doing a guy for the guy Lagrange, Lagrange, whatever the frick his name is, Lagrange, whatever. The liquor guy, right? What a guy had a thing. All right, they got a whole thing here, right? That side's a bad place for tourists. All right. Well, guess what? We ain't no tourists. What are you talking about? We're freaking making this town big. Big time, all right? All right. Anyway, there's a whole long story. We'll fill it in as we go along, guys. I mean, like, the, basically, the guy's getting involved in the sort of chemical, uh, you know, uh, procurement and uh, distribution, if you know what I mean there. They got a thing here. It's called the fish uh, have some sort of uh, crazy psychedelic, I don't even know, uh, in them. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, you know, we, he's on a mission here. All right. Now, that, basically what happened is he's working for this guy, Legrand or whatever the frick his name is, right? And he's taking over the, the role from this guy. This is the guy we're looking for, all right? Not the guy there. Those are the guards for the guy we're looking for, right? So we got to take care of uh you know oh it looks like they are not friendly here we're just trying to talk all right all right this guy you know the neon dragon he don't really like getting you know that uh that violent he he knows how to schmooze and talk his way into things just by uh you know a little, little uh raised eye you know type of uh suggestion you know what i mean but these guys didn't want to talk so uh looks like the syndicate here is going down right I got Andreja here, his uh, trusty assistant, and she is ready to kick some butt, you can tell. All right, they're hiding there. We don't need to go in there. There's a bada boom. All right, this guy likes the laser beams, man. He's a laser beam guy. He don't like the ballistics. Uh, so it's pretty cool, you know, they're out in outer space. You got to use the laser beams, right? That's how I see it. All right, well, there we go. Got the headshot on that one. And <laughs> there you go. And maybe it just makes him unconscious. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Who cares? These guys are nobodies, right? All right, Mr. Nobody. We got 119 meters away and 121. He's got a little watch there to give him a calculation of where they are, you know? <laughs> kind of like what I used to have way back in the day. I used to be back in a place called uh, the, the Wasteland, right? And uh, we had a thing. It was called a, the Pip, the Pip Boy on my on my uh, wrist there and it, did, it didn't give me the calculation of the exact meters but it did show the uh, location of my enemies if that's what you wanted to call them all right so you know back in the day way back in the day all right anyway all right now did they have anything of value felix here yeah, they got a few weapons and stuff no big deal med pack that's pretty good all right, geez, she's freaking invisible. This is a stealth fighter there, man. Andreja, man, she is stealthy. And she got the laser beam coming. Imagine seeing that. You just see some laser beam coming out of nowhere. And guess what? It's targeting your freaking head. <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty intimidating, right? Well, that's why we like her, right? All right, here you go. Hey, Felix, how you doing? Guess who just took your job? <laughs> What's his name? Lagrange? Lagrande? I don't even freaking remember, man. The guy's a nobody, you but... Were awesome. Oh, Did you see yourself? this guy wearing a trash Those bag. All right, well, aren't you working with them? Through. 
Oh. That asshole rescue. I don't know about rescue. Don't forget, we are tight. Oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Either you die or you leave. All right, at least we'll give him the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, wait, let's maybe, uh. What? God, it's firing me? Yeah, man, you're, what you're a liability is? guy. You could either pack up and go, or we'll pack you up and go right here. You know what I mean? You got a choice. Well, guess what? We got bigger plans. He's got me now. I can do that stuff. Oh, that ain't the right thing to say. Oh, this guy's dead. You don't say that. Just, I mean, come on. You understand the guy saving your oh, life here. I feel so honored to know you and how you're saving me for my own damn life. Yeah, well, pretty much. Just go. <laughs> Get out of here. We gotta. You I would. To now, personally, I would not be this polite to this guy here. To all the... all yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, he I'm just killed the entire this... freaking syndicate. Oh, yeah, uh, I think I'll miss him. Or maybe not. All right. La Grande, La Grande, yeah. Yannick, all right, this guy's a mover and a shaker, like Yannick La Grande, he knows his stuff. He's just a little low level, but he's actually doing more here uh, than uh, most people, going against the big guy, uh, Benjamin Bayou, who uh, we, you know, our guy here is kind of don't like him, so. Is that it then? All right, no big deal, all right. Just seeing if you had anything to say about all that. All right. Well, I don't know what the heck they got going on here, and it, I guess it don't matter much. We got to go back. All right. So the whole thing here, they got this stuff. It's called Aurora or whatever. And it's uh, some type of chemical or who the heck knows that the fish pick up. I don't know if they're eating some stuff under the sea or whatever. Who the heck knows how they get it? Anyway, they, they get it get it good. And what happens is they extract the stuff here. You know how they do that. They got the chemicals and stuff like that, right? I used to do that stuff back in the day. It was called jet, right? And this stuff does the same thing as the jet. It's pretty funny. It slows down the time so that when you fight these giant bugs and stuff they got in outer space, they ain't moving so fast. I mean, that's the main thing. Some people do it for fun. I don't get that. I mean, I did it because they had uh, big ass bugs and these giant rats coming out of the ground, all right? At any rate, this guy, La Grande. All right, so anyway, you got Benjamin Bayou who runs this whole freaking town. See, Bayou Plaza. They named the freaking place after him, right? Well, apparently, you're not allowed to bring this Aurora stuff off world. This is like a paradise of partying or whatever, the neon, right? And a lot of money here, too, because of it. So everyone comes here to have their fun, and you can't smuggle it off, right? Well, we met a guy, or, uh, you know, who was smuggling it off, and he gave uh, our guy here the tip uh, to go here and, you know, basically help him out. Uh, you know, he was in jail. We, we did some favors, and now we're the guy, basically. All right. But this guy, all right, Legrand, he's got a whole nother deal where he makes the stuff called yeah. blend, right? He takes the stuff and dilutes it a lot. Yeah, but you can get it over the counter sure. now here Great. instead of going to the fancy ass place where you got to be VIP and have a lot of money to get it. So he does it for the common people, you know? That's what we're talking about. I mean, and you know, this is some shady business, but the guy's looking out for the basic common person oh, here. All right, yeah, well, but guess what? Yeah, you that. know what? The syndicate was there, buddy. Yeah, anyway, we got rid not of him. Definitely. Not many options. All right. He does not hold up a candle. No, well, they, you know what? It, this guy goes dragging a little out of your price range, but since he's trying to learn how the business works, you know, he's going to work with you for a while. Well, hopefully not too much like me, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're a little so bigger now, time than you, honestly, you know, but you don't know that yet. Where I am the boss and you are my capable and well-rewarded... Yeah, leader. underling. All right. This the guy's okay though. We got no, no, uh, not, you know, he serves his place, and I, we're not trying to take over this business. We're trying to take over on top of this guy, the Aurora. Okay, so now look at this. We, uh, we got the inn for the the the, the, the fishery where they make the stuff, right? Secret from me. Look at this. Who supplied the Aurora? They were smuggling it out, right? And then they put it in a drink. All right, it sounds like he was doing a pretty good job. Hmm. Maybe. No longer important. Well, yeah, he so was compromised. I mean, come on, you had the syndicate there, right? Of society, 
it don't matter how good you are, you know, when you get those guys on your butt. Some superb, very legitimate credit. All right. And your new name is Riley, Riley. Janishevsky. You don't ah, expect me to. Nice I can't even Riley. say my own name, <laughs> right? You know. So you apply that well, to I don't know. Oh, All right. You know how to make amp. Yes. Some amp. Recipe. No. Expect applicants to know basic, basic chemistry. chemistry. All right. So this guy's got to learn the chemistry, right? No idea. <laughs> I mean, Use come on. How the heck would he know? Over there and analyze these. I am sure you'll figure All right. Out. Analyze. All right. So you need to put on your best suit, Riley, and make a He's good already impression. wearing a best suit. The this guy's got the classiest suit down. Someone like you. White so suit matches that. white hair. Then we line up more Aurora and Prophet. All right, this guy is. I I like this guy, man. This guy is like me. I'm exactly like this guy. All right. I mean, you, you just you don't take no crap from nobody. You do your thing and you help out the little guy too. That's what's important here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he is making a money off him, and that's what I did do with the jet. But you know what? You don't want to be one of these elitist, you know, dudes like the Benjamin Bio guy up there in his ivory freaking tower, you know, uh, only letting the VIPs get have fun, right? So this guy, you know, pretty cool. All right, here we go. This is just like what I used to do with the freaking workbench, you know what I mean? It's just a futuristic version of it, all right? So, you know. And, you know, if you ever want to see my adventures, you know, we got them on the tube there. You know what I mean? You go back to Ghost Chef, right? You know, back in the day in the uh, capital, not the capital, the uh, whatever the wasteland was called back then. I don't even freaking remember. My brain don't work that good no more because I was frozen twice and I ended up in this ah, world uh, you know, after this. Land? And we heard all I used to hear all these stories. All right. This is why I'm telling you this. This is my version of the story. All right, there's other versions of this story where things were a little different, maybe, but I'm doing this one, right? All right, so look at this. You can do weapons. We got all sorts of stuff in here, right? You got to research it. So learning the basics there, but uh, pharmacology, whatever the freak you call it, that's what I'm an expert in, even if I can't freaking say it. Uh, you know, I got food and all sorts of stuff here. So performance enhancements, we know what that's for, right? Um, mixology there. Look at that. Old Earth Cuisine, you don't want that, man. I used to have that. That ain't no good. Probably, maybe better than the outer space stuff. Who the heck knows what they're eating up there? <laughs> All right. Metabolic agent, man. What the frick is this stuff? All right, this is a little confusing. All right, anyway, so we learned what he had to learn. Now we go, we got to get the job done. All right. So up back up in the tower here. All right, and this, we've been here before. This is where our buddy Stroud has an office, right? Right above them is uh, the Xeno Fresh Corp, right? And these are big wigs. That's what I'm talking about here. You know what I mean? This town is freaking crazy. And you know these corpos are doing more crime than the dudes on the street, by the way. I mean, that's what we're getting involved in here. And that's what our guy is. He's some super job. corporate fixer on the other side of town, too. There it is, the Aurora, the best trip in the galaxy man all right so this is where the, the stuff gets done there's you know fresh Welcome seafood corporation fresh fisheries, the pride of neon yeah this Welcome is what neon is built on fisheries, the pride of neon so this is the big big time Zeno fresh is the best and we got an in neon hands down the pay is good the all right are respectable and the company's profits yeah we're taking all those profits what is that going we're on in the background there is that the fish they they get the stuff from to see our now they excel. got big fish getting all right the free star collective has this given is the history here guys for you doing this right for you the fish chasm bass and use it to produce a roar chasm bass that's the if name you of the fish sample some yourself we have it for sale at the famous astral lounge yeah the astral lounge what i'm saying you gotta be uh, uh, products. big we time to get in there of delicious seafood products as well and they just have regular food too because you know come to the right place why not Zeno fresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family the All application right. kiosk is over there you don't even talk to her. You got to use the questions. kiosk. Well, that's how he got the first job, too. At the uh, Ryujin. Nice They're up to some crazy stuff, Ryujin. But this is the main deal. This is what. This is how I get involved. This is what I'm I sure know. Those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home uh, You're talking about what? Varun. This guy is Varun. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. 
They like to pick him. All right. Well, this guy is Varun. He's one. Of, they don't know that, but he is one of them. And so is she, by the way. And there's a whole uh, intrigue going on with why he's with her. He's kind of looking out for her or maybe spying on her. We don't know what. But uh, she don't know that he's a Varun. And uh, they're the snake worshippers, by the way. They got snakes and space snake worships. You know what I mean? Crazy stuff. All right. So she's one of these. And she kind of left. And, you know, is it, you know, but uh, they're looking out for her. I don't know. We don't know. We got to follow. You got to keep tuning in for the story of that. That's the next story. Later, much later, they get involved with these two. And uh, there's some snake stuff going on. And you know what I mean. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. But I'm rooting for the two. I think they make a good te team. And maybe even a good, you know, good couple there. These two. I think it's pretty good. But yeah, we don't know. He might be uh, up to no good with her. Uh, he's a little mysterious right now. All right, babe. Oh God, is that Cherny Sheetsky? Yeah, Cherry. Cherry. Whatever. So we don't know how to say it neither. Just you know, but that uh, was our freaking grandpapa's position. name. What, uh, whatever. The underbelly. On the floor. The underbelly. All right, we got the job. Oh, we got an interview though. Have a nice day. All right, down on the floor. All right, so. This is the corporate headquarters. Now we got to go to where they actually do the fishing and stuff and the extraction or whatever. The Crimson Fleet. We don't care about that stuff this time. Maybe next time. All right. Down to the lot. Should we stop in on our buddy Stroud? Is Eklund, man. Eklund is Stroud's wife, man. We got, I got to admit the ghost guy here, you know. He's got a he's got a thing for her, all right. <laughs> I know his Stroud is kind of his buddy and whatever, but you know she's a pretty uh, interesting lady there. Anyway, fishy business going on here. Fishy business. All right. All right. He loves the jetpack. This is how you get around town, man. He can do two things, you know, in the time of one with the jetpack. All right. Going down to Ebb side. This is the underbelly. All right, this is the underbelly. This is where, you know, they're not so, uh, you know, well off people are, right? I mean, we saw it at the beginning there. You got the, the this Euphorica club ain't no as classy as the other clubs, you know what I mean? I mean, it's still got a VIP area though, too. But uh, here we go seafood, fish food. They got fish, they got seafood. That's the place here. The Mostly ocean here, and this ain't even land. They ain't even on land. This is like some type of rig, you know, that they built on the ocean. It's 100% ocean here, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I never traveled the whole world here, but, uh, you know, as far as I know, that's how it is. They got big towers. They made the big. This is big industrial stuff, you know. I mean, they got spaceships and stuff to do this, right? All right. All right. So here it is underneath the whole place. And you can see they got all the fish they caught. And they got the big fish over there on the left. You see them hanging up. And so that's where they get the stuff from. And they catch all the little fish too. There we go. Right up there. The big ones. There we go. And the little ones, you know, that's for the food. So they got a whole system here, you know. And, uh, you know, I mean, this guy... The Neon Dragon, whatever. I think I called him the Ghost before, because he used to be called the Ghost Dragon until he came to Neon. That's the thing. That was his legend before this, which is a little hazier. We don't exactly know what his story was, you know, but that's what he was known as. Then he came here after, and even at this point, no one's calling him Neon Dragon until after all this. This is the story of how he became the Neon Dragon, so, you know. All right, this is Mr. Bayou, right? All right. This is the guy that we're after, right? Our crew here. All right, so she's working for he. This guy running the whole town, and nobody likes that, right? So uh, you know, someone's gonna take over, and that's after he takes over, that's when he becomes a neon dragon, right? But that's a long time from now. That's not what's important. No, we don't got no degree, but we learned the bench. Yep. Damn, there we go, living and breathing. Pretty easy qualification there. Kind of crazy because it's so, you know, but they got a lot of security Good. here. Good. But we're sneaking past Take that. And put it on. Time to get to work. All right. There we go. We got the recipe now, right? 
So this is the thing. Wait, this guy is learn, eventually going to learn how to make this stuff off world and do stuff, stuff you're not supposed to be doing here just to get under this Bayou guy's skin. But that's in the future. That's a long time from now, right? All right, got to put the clean suit on. There we go. Well, what the frick is that? Pick that up off a dead guy. All right. There we go. No, that ain't it. That's a hazmat. All right, there we go. Clean suit. Look like one of them power wash dudes. <laughs> you know what a power wash dudes? Man, that stuff's... We, we've done that before. Done a lot, I've done a lot of power washing. A lot of it. <laughs> All right. All right. So, you know, they, you don't want to get high on the own supply. That's why you got to wear this. Because the stuff you're dealing with, the concentrated stuff here, you know. So you just touch it. It goes through your skin and you're, you're, you can't work. All right. This is just a basic uh, grunt level assembly line job, you know. No skill involved. A little bit of skill, but. All right. Here we go. Assembly line. All right, there we go. Job simple. The hopper will spit out ingredients. All right. The computer tells you. She ain't wearing our go <laughs> Andrea don't got no clean suit on. She don't you care. The milligram, what's needed. Neither so does this lady, I guess. Required. They ain't touching this stuff. No more, no less. All right. Grab the ingredients. All right, no big deal. You think so, right? Yeah, pretty the simple. Other thing is speed. We got a quota. As soon oh, as the quota. screen spits out the compound, the timer starts. Oh. So use the station to craft the compound, then put it in the other hopper. All right. You beat the time and you maybe make employee of the month. Employee in a month. Maybe get promoted one day so you can have your own little crate rat. Oh, crate rat. Right. Too long. They live in crates here. Don't take too long. <laughs> That's what they call the little uh, cubbies they get. All right, let's go. We don't need no bonus. We're getting a bonus. We're only doing an inside job here. <laughs> we understand each other, right? You yep. get one run through with training wheels. No time limit. To no learn time the limit. System. All right. After Andrea that, looks like she's going to stab this lady right in the freaking back. <laughs> she is well, looking out for a, our company. guy here. You could go to the break room before you leave. All right, the break room's where we got to meet the uh, contact, by the way. So we got to do the job so we can go to the break room and then, you know, get the stuff done. Oh, there we go. No time limit. No time limit. All right, there we go. Shambas oil. That's the main ingredient here. And then there's a lot of other stuff. Hallucinogen, just straight up hallucinogen, uh, separate from the Shambas oil right there, or whatever it's called. All right, hit the lab. Unprocessed Aurora. Craft. Benzene. Chambla soil. Something for personal use or for sale? D have you not been paying attention? We're working in a freaking factory here. We ain't selling it or using it. They're selling it and we're, we got the job here. She don't, she ain't too bright sometimes. She's looking at threat assessment there. Looks like she's going to sabotage the machinery or something. All right, over to the hopper. Where the frick is the thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some nice Aurora. All right, there we go. Bada bing. All right, well, this is a little too complicated. Why don't they put the thing right next to it instead of across the freaking room? Uh, a little stupid. Could be... We could be managing this stuff a lot more efficiently than this lady does. All right, there we go. Water, too. All right. Man, already too much weight. All right, benzene, hallucinogen, stimulants, chamba soil. So it's got a little boost too. I mean, the chamba soil does most of it, but it got a little boost from the stimulant and hallucinogen. A little boost. Oh, damn, stuck. 30 seconds, oh my God, this timer's pretty quick. I transferred the freaking stuff. It ain't working, it ain't working. It ain't working. All right, there we go. Click on it. Thing. Oh my god, this takes so freaking long. These freaking menus on this machinery, it takes too long. It takes more than 30 seconds. Subpar. Pay docked. Oh, 
Get out of the way, Andrea! It's on a timer here! I need to wash the fish smell out of the clothes. How? You don't you got a clean suit on? Ain't that what it's for? Alright, look at this menu. It takes so freaking long. And they got you on a timer here. Unprocessed Aurora. Give me the unprocessed. Alright. Get out of there. Alright, get out of the way. We got a timer. Alright. Alright, into the hopper. Where the frick is the freaking menu? It takes so long. Subpar. Alright, well, you know what? Who the frick cares if the pay is docked when we're basically robbing this freaking place behind our back? I mean, that's the whole point, right? So, just gotta get, uh, so they don't get fired. <laughs> I mean, it can be pay docked. Who cares? It looks like it's impossible to do this in the time they want to, though. I mean, maybe if Andrea wasn't in the freaking way, it would save us one second. Ah, she didn't even get in the way that time. It's this part here where the menu don't even come up. Takes extra five seconds there. Subpar. Come on. That's it. All right. Well, that's good. All right. Now for the contact. No big deal. All right. Well, that was fine. I mean, first day, whatever, right? All right, here we go. Who's the contact? One of these two. All right, this lady. Another day in paradise. Yep, here we are. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice sandwich you got there. Should we take off the suit? The other guy's got the suit on. We don't got no lunch or nothing. Welcome to the line. All right. Hope you like your every move being recorded and digitized for Silicon posterity. Well, hopefully they ain't recording this. All right, trying to make a new friend here. Oh, she's bored. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Speaking of security. Oh, no, an outage? Oh. Fortunately for us, the damn things are broken like 98% Oh, okay, the the, it's broken. You happen to know Nesher? Poor guy got picked up by security. Yeah, we met him. And, uh, yeah. She knows that we're, she knows we're the guy. All right, yeah. Yeah, it got unlocked. Got break. I like Nesher too. Yeah, he was all right. The fact I'm still free means Nesher didn't rat me no, out. No, no, he, he has us handling everything. I knew whoever he was working for would send a replacement. Yep. Are we back in business? We're back in business, baby. The store's open again. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. I'll give you the cords to the merchandise. Oh, she smuggles it's up it to out. You to get it and do. Oh, that's cool. We don't do. even gotta smuggle it out. If you need more, you know. Work a shift and meet me here in the break room. All right. And I'll give you the new drop cords. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. Good deal. Fishy business. All right, back to La Grande now. All right, this is easier than I thought. I thought we'd have to, she'd do something on the inside. She's actually taking it out. We got to go to the coordinates on the outside, which we already did, by the way, for the guy that was in the jail. We <laughs> did that for him. Uh, that's how it all started here. So it just got to go back to the spot. Or she'll make a new spot each time, you know what I mean? So, uh, a lot easier than we thought. We just had to get in here and talk to her. And then we got to do the, the shift to, you know, order more. All right. Hey, lady, we're going home. All right. Here we go. Back at La Grande. There we go. <laughs> He's moving so fast, he flew right past it. All right. Oh, something's up. What's going on? They got armed people here. Go in. The boss. Who the frick's the boss? Legrand? Wait. Oh my God. That's the guy. That is the boss. Benjamin Bio, the guy that runs the whole freaking town. Have convened. Yannick all right. Sorry if you couldn't hear me too good there. You know the uh, think you fishery had a little muffled recording there, nine. so uh, I don't know. Another bloodbath in anyway. Anyway, isn't good for the tourists. Still. Sometimes blood's got a flow. Uh oh, this guy's on and to you, us. You must be what passes for the brain in this operation. Well, more, more like the uh, errand guy. Letting either of you leave here alive. Uh oh, all right. We finally get to kill this guy. You're gonna, you're really gonna risk a murder investigation over this tiny, small time stuff here? <laughs> An investigation. He runs the Process. town, they ain't investigating him. I am quite certain it would not be the first murder investigation Bayou would be able to extricate <laughs> Andrea from. knows how it works. Your associate makes a decent case. But, uh, you fucking ripped me off, oh. Yannick. I hate being ripped off. Oh. <laughs> Your lounge has the upscale market covered. He's explaining the deal here. But 
There are so many credits. Why not? Yeah, the, the little guy. Thank everybody wants this stuff, guy. You gotta let Go the on. little guy take it. We got the looted well, stuff just here. A smidgen just a smidgen. Uh, just give him a taste, and then they want to go to your place for the stronger stuff. Please tell him. Uh, you just yes. told him. Tell me. You just told him. People are beating down the door for more blend, by the way. That's a good one. Hmm. Yeah, Bayou. We'll just give so you a little cut. You've got an emerging market. Emerging coin. market, yeah. Yami? We're straight up stealing this stuff. I almost think you're a businessman. He's a good business almost. guy. Yannick has just started. The credits are rolling in. Wait. Did you just call yourself Yannick? Yeah. He's, he's one of those guys. <laughs> I. <laughs> I call him Grande. Here's the deal. You get to keep smuggling Aurora out of the fish. Boom, he's letting him do it. You make your blend and sell whatever extra Aurora you want on the streets. But I'm taking 20% of the 20%. profit for having to deal with your bullshit. We're done. Yannick, get busy making All right, money. well, this is how you do it, all right. And we got paid six grand for that stuff. All right, well, see this guy? This is why he's on top. He knows how to do stuff. All right, now he's making it on the back end, the front end, every end. Meanwhile, we're planning his demise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy, eventually, the Neon Dragon takes over the whole town. This spoiler alert there, there, if you want to call it that. Right? And his bio guy. Oh, we don't even know what son. happened to him. Hey, yeah, that, that was, that was good, though. You talked your way out of that. We helped a little bit. Are, are you okay? Oh, we're this is what we're doing people. here. I mean, we'd rather not. Well, I wish we could have just shot the guy in the freaking head, but uh, there you go. Man, who's an asshole? I mean, he is. Whatever. We don't care. Our profits go down, yes, but we don't have to worry. Yeah, about it makes it easier. Anymore. So, business as usual. Yeah. All right. You do a shift at Zeno Fresh, and your contact tells you where. Yeah, to we pick gotta up go pick it up. We got. We go there, in. Make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. Yeah. No time pressure. Anytime you want. He's got plenty Take in stock. We just want. gotta do it whenever. All right. All right. Why don't we just get it directly from Bayou? <laughs> That's a good thing. But whatever, we'll just do it. You Who cares? We know why, cause you know. Accounting or whatever. Well, leave me my purse. Ah, who am I kidding? It's you. <laughs> All right, Again? we're better than his now? kid. Really? Oh, she ain't into this. She don't. Uh, Andrea, you understand this is for the greater birthday. good, uh, a yeah. bigger plan of getting rid of this Bayou yeah. guy, taking over yeah. the whole freaking right. town. She don't like doing this shady stuff. She seems like a badass, but she's kind of like a goody two shoes, who don't like us doing, being involved with this Ionic guy doing the, uh, the basically drug dealing, whatever you know. I mean, it's a drink. It's you just a drink. Like you could use it. We probably could. All right, Andrea, don't give me that dirty look there. This is part of the plan. All right, back to the neon core. All right, guys. This is the tale of the neon dragon and how he became the king of neon. Leaving Benjamin Bio in the freaking dust, all right? A slow plan. Learning how to fish the fish, get the stuff out of the fish, the Aurora, and all that good stuff, all right? So come back next time and catch more of this. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you later.